Shalom Israel. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, the Buanas of the Apostles and the Elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to letting out there, doing this work of faith and labor of love of truth sincerity. I just want to get into a quick uh you know herb topic. Celion versus uh Cassia cinnamon. Alright, and this is uh Exodus chapter thirty, verse twenty two. Moreover, the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take thou also unto thee principal spices of pure myrrh five hundred shekels and of sweet cinnamon half so much, even two hundred and fifty shekels, and of sweet calamus two hundred and fifty shekels, and of cassia five hundred shekels, and of and after the shekel of the sanctuary of and of and of olive oil and hen, and thou shalt make it and hold an oil of holy ointment an ointment compound after the art of the apothecary it shall be an holy anointing oil all right so you know we mainly touching on you know cinnamon uh within this lesson so as you can see what the lord mentioned sweet cinnamon also the lord mentioned cassia now this is cinnamon also but it's a different type of cinnamon okay so what we're going to get into is the comparisons of the cinnamon now you have dip, uh, various forms of cinnamon out there but they are uh, the two that are mainly known are Celion cinnamon okay and Cassia cinnamon all right now you know pretty much the average cinnamon that you will see in the stores you know I'm gonna post a picture up of that okay but the average cinnamon that you will see in the stores you know is the Cassia cinnamon you know you typically just wouldn't know what uh, form of cinnamon and a lot of people didn't know that there were different forms of cinnamon okay but what I have here as you can see here this says uh, uh, canela okay now this is the Mexican uh, form of cinnamon all right and which I have here this is the uh, Celion cinnamon all right Celion cinnamon okay <clears throat> now I had also, you know, I had some of the, uh, a little bit of the cassia cinnamon left, you know, so pretty much I had poured them out, you know, and as you can see, the uh, cassia cinnamon is more of a darkish reddish color, like a red clay type, okay? And here I have, you know, the Celion cinnamon, which is more of a, of a brown color, okay? Now, you can see from here, you know, this is a typical cinnamon stick, okay, as it's hard, you know. Now, this is what the Cassia cinnamon sticks look like. They're hard, they're hard. But the uh, Celion cinnamon sticks, okay, unfortunately, you know, I don't have any. I ran out of them, but they're soft, okay, which I'll, you know, post a picture of that as well, but they're soft, and they can easily crumble up within your hand. That's how you can know. The difference as far as you know the two uh, cinnamon sticks now you know what people use usually use cinnamon for you know people usually use it for foods and different things like that you know but another main thing you know that people use cinnamon for also is you know for health reasons you know it's different um they have anti-inflammatory properties within it is uh, high antioxidant levels you know uh, within cinnamon and mainly you know uh, is used for uh, diabetes okay and you know that that runs high amongst Jake you know so it's real good but in order to use cinnamon you know for diabetes you know to help balance you out you got to know which cinnamon it is that you have to use okay so I want to get into this article so we can find out further information on what is the proper cinnamon to use okay for uh, diabetes you know alright so it says um Celion cinnamon versus cassia cinnamon okay so scroll down as a uh, real cinnamon are you eating the real cinnamon okay as many people don't know now it says Celion cinnamon has been hailed as the true cinnamon or the real cinnamon that possesses outstanding health benefits especially for the diabetics and those challenged by obesity and high cholesterol issues unfortunately this cinnamon which is native to Sri Lanka and sourced from the plant Cinnamomum zelenicum 
is rather unknown to most people and also known as cinnamon verum or Mexican cinnamon, cinnamon or canela. Okay, so that's what I said. You can see, you know what, this is the canela form. So this would be considered like uh, one of the uh, next best things uh, to the uh, uh, Celion cinnamon. Okay, in which I don't have any more, you know, of the uh, Cassia except for this, you know, little bit that's right here. All right. Now, <clears throat> now you know, uh, you know, if you got, you know, a uh, Iskarite store or any type of, uh, you know, Northern Night store, you know, uh, Puerto Rican store or something like that, or supermarket rather, not at the corner store, but at the supermarket, you know, you can you can find this, you know. So this would be the next best thing instead of the getting, you know, the store bought one from a, a shop right or you know whatever local supermarket that you have that Esau owns this would be the better one to grab okay now <clears throat> going on it says <clears throat> in this article it says uh in the United States and many parts of Asia what majority of us have been buying from the supermarket and groceries and consuming is not actually the real cinnamon but cassia cinnamon okay which comes from a plant from a different plant called cinnamon cassia okay or cinnamon aromaticum also commonly known as Chinese cinnamon that are mostly cultivated in China and Indonesia okay so you know as we read in the scripture you know we have what the sweet cinnamon okay and we have what the cassia okay and what was another nickname uh, for the cassia? It said, or cinnamon aromaticum. That's why the Lord chose, you know, to have the cassia because this is more of the one for the, uh, the, the aroma, okay? This is the sweet one, but this, is, this has the uh, better aroma to it, okay? Now, typically, you know, there's nothing wrong with using the cassia cinnamon, but you just have to watch out for using it in high levels. As with anything, you know, that we eat or use today, you know, too much of anything, you know, is bad for you. All right. So we're going to find out more about this. Okay. So it says also commonly known as Chinese cinnamon that are mostly cultivated in China and Indonesia. While the two species of cinnamon share certain characteristics such as antimicrobial and in terms of inhibit inhibiting growth of fungi and yeast and regulating blood sugar their contents differ much in terms of the amount of coumarin okay this is the big factor which is a naturally occurring substance with a strong blood thinning properties the coumarin level in cellion cinnamon is negligibly small while that in cassia cinnamon is an appalling 1200 times higher the ingestion of large amount of coumarin or consumption of coumarin over a prolonged period of time can cause serious health damages and a negative impact on the liver and kidneys. German FDA has warned against consuming the, the excessive intake of cassia bark due to its coumarin content. Okay, so that's why you more so want to deal with the uh, the Celion cinnamon, okay, because of those different uh, health effects that it can have on you if you're taking those in high doses you know so um we're gonna um go on all right so it says cinnamon sticks as for the cinnamon sticks there are several ways of determining whether you are getting the real deal i've taken a picture of these two types and placed them side by side all right so you can see both are cinnamon sticks but only one is the true cinnamon which one are you eating and as you can see the difference you can clearly see what that this are the harder ones so this is the cassia and these are the softer ones as you can see like the leafy ends of it or whatever they easily breakable so this is the true cinnamon the cellion cinnamon so when you're in the supermarkets or wherever you may be you know well you're not going to find this one in the supermarkets anyway you're only going to see this one but when you look online and if you want because you have to order this stuff all online unless you have some health food store or herb store uh, nearby you that contains this otherwise you're going to have to order it online okay because he saw knows what he's doing by pumping this in the homes and you know and, and jake likes sweet things you know what i'm saying so 
you know, uh, different things of that nature. So they want to pump Jake with this, causing more health problems, you know, by them eating it in an abundance and not knowing. All right. So as you can see here, it says Celion Simon, a highly valued culinary and medicinal spice. Price can be up to 10 times more than the Cassia Chinese cinnamon. Okay, now this is uh, versus it. Commonly available and very cheap. You can get a bag of these sticks for less than a dollar. Okay, because they know this is better off. All right, and that's why you saw use it. Okay, it says what you know contains small amounts of the coumarin, and this one has uh, higher levels of it. Okay, uh, tan and brown in color, and this one is reddish dark brown. That's how you can notice the difference. Okay, thin and paper-like texture bark that forms multiple layers when rolled up. Okay, and this one, uneven thick bark that forms only a few layers when rolled up. Fragile, easily broken, tough, difficult, you know, to break up, basically. Okay, so pretty much, you know, like when you're using, you know, someone out there, you know, brother or sister may have, uh, you know, uh, diabetes, you know, um, and you want to use... The cinnamon, you know, as I said, don't use these cinnamon sticks. Uh, don't use the Cassia cinnamon. What you want to do is, and I have a prime example of why not to use these, the Cassia cinnamon sticks, because, you know, I had told one brother about using the cinnamon sticks, you know, uh, for his diabetes. But at the time, you know, I didn't know about, you know, the uh, Celion cinnamon. So when I had told him about it, you know, he was using them, and when he went to the doctor, you know, the the doctor actually told him that his uh his levels were high. You know, his blood sugar levels were high. So he had to fall back from that, and then that's when I went to do the research, and I found out about the Celion cinnamon. Okay, so that's why I could present, you know, uh, this information to you brothers uh, today. So, you know, you basically can take, you know, a few different, um a few Celion cinnamon sticks, you know, you can put them in your bottle of water or whatever you're drinking for the day and just let them sit in there and just let all the, the uh, properties, you know, uh, soak up in your water or whatever you're drinking. And, you know, you can just drink that throughout the day, you know. So that's a pretty much a, a healthy way of doing that or just different things that you're using just or that you're eating throughout the day. You want to add some sweet to it, just add a little bit to it every day. Or if you know uh, you're into health and you make like smoothies and different shakes or something like that, you know, add like a half a teaspoon into you know uh, uh, your shake or your smoothie, you know, every single day. Also, another thing you know that I can add, you know, uh, you know, if somebody may be feeling you know maybe feeling like nauseous or you feel like you need to vomit or something like that, you can just take like a half a teaspoon of the Celion cinnamon, you know, ground up of course, you know, in some warm water, you know. You dump the Celion cinnamon inside of the warm water and you just stir it up and you just drink it, you know, and that should help you out with your nausea or your vomiting feeling because it helps to soothe the stomach. OK, and you can do this every morning, too, for other, you know, uh, brothers and sisters that may have, you know, different stomach problems or when they eating or eating certain things that may uh, affect you. Just take a half a teaspoon of the Celion cinnamon, warm water and, and, and drink it before you eat, you know. It's very uh, therapeutic for the stomach, you know, so, um, you know, with that, man, I'll just grab uh, one last scripture, you know, before I uh, end this uh, lesson, okay? <clears throat> All right, and this is um, uh, Sirach chapter 30 and uh, verse 15, health and good estate of body are above all gold. And a strong body above infinite wealth. Okay, so you know that's that's pretty much the point. And I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. Shalom, select on this rig of faith and labor of love, truth, sincerity. Shalom, and death to America.